answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Um... Oh, so this was a post actually up by Lovely T. And Lovely T, I don't think she's going to be putting this on her page. But I found this very, very interesting because you know that we're tracking NBA Young Boy here and YSL because True Banning, that's their genre. True Branding is my bro bro. And that's his segment, his segments on um, Uncensored. So we're, we're focusing on a lot of law, dealing with young black men running the streets. You know, just trying to get them to understand their position, what to do, what not to do, and really how the streets is just basically a dead zone. And what you're going to hear NBA Youngboy say in this clip is literally that the, he is admitting that everything he did has led to not only destruction of his soul, but he feels so, so bad for the message that he's been sending. So let's listen millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life and I woke up one morning and I was like damn they got me man look at the shit I spoke about look at the shit I put in these people's ears man I feel very wrong about a lot of things how many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music how many kids and people have gotten in the car or put this shit in their ears and actually it hurts me and now i'm sitting back like damn i can't do it all in one day but i promise to clean whatever i can clean but it's gonna take time i was flooded with me oh man so what i think what i'm thinking of nba young boy is that he really got a shock of his lifetime nba young boy may feel like and know that his life is on the line Every we were we literally just was talking about how they're trying to keep trying to charge this man with something else and something else and something else. And God be the glory, he must got some type of prayers on him that he keeps beating these charges, he keeps beating these cases for lack of evidence or all sorts of stuff. And I think he feels the attack coming against his soul and his person. I can hear in his voice the pain. I, I can hear the the pain that he feels related to what he feels he's done to the youth with the music and the destruction. If anybody knows the sound and the melody of music can lead, can be basically it's like the pop piper. Okay. So it can lead you to joy or it can lead you to, and I'm going to say this, you guys, you ever sat there and heard a song from back in the day? And all of a sudden you you just go back into a mold or you remember somebody or something. That's the power of music. Music has a memory, has a vibration, and it resonates a spirit. So if you have this music that is focused on demonicness and have hidden messages and literally telling our kids to hate, not love, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see exactly what we saw with the little girl attacking her teacher. Our kids are not having the empathy for us, the empathy for society, the patience to learn, to grow because of the instant gratification and all of this toxic music. But you didn't hear it from Grace Levi. We're going to leave that right there because half of y'all don't want to hear that from me.